All right, so I got the first top bracket um, attachment up. Do the bottom one. I added some extra lock washers because it's brake components, and that's just a extra safety thing that I like to do for myself. So with these shoulders or these uh, spacers, you want to make sure that the dimples are um, pointed towards the studs on the axle housing. Now, when it comes to, when the time comes to put the caliper on, you kind of want to have all this loose, but we'll have the, we're going to separate the caliper so that way you can actually put these two together and then we're going to tighten it down that way so then you have the exact measurement of how you want to put these together. Otherwise, you'll be trying to chase it and get it just right, taking it off, putting it back on, taking it off, putting it back on. All right, let me grab the rotor. Again, you're going to want to clean the rotors with brake parts cleaner. I am not doing that because my car is going to be sitting for a really long time and I don't want the rotors to rust. So I'm not going to be doing that. And this is how you're going to want to put it on. Okay. It's good so far. So I'll take that back off. I'm going to test fit the caliper by taking this off and attaching it so that way it's where these two need to be and then I can tighten these four down. These have a thread locker on them, so you're going to want to put the thread lock back on, but put that part back. But these are the bolts you're going to want to use. There's the holes. It doesn't matter where you put it, you just want them to line up. 
You can put it the right way if you want. 